You know, my bike smells very weird. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> like every time I stop the bike, I get these weird, very weird smells emitting from my motorcycle. Like something's burning. Or something like that. 738. Holy balls. I didn't realize uh, it's so late already. I'm gonna go this way. And it's light outside still. I love that. That's. <laughs> you know, winter's almost over when it's still light out and it's almost 8 o'clock. And then once summer hits, it'll be light out when it's almost 9. Oh, I smell Five Guys burgers and fries. So this area right here is uh, relatively new. Oh, they're cooking, having cookout over there. No wonder I could smell burgers. This area is relatively new. It's uh, pretty nice. If I ever went out and lived in an apartment type area, I'd like to live somewhere like this. Because you got, you know, nice apartments. And you got these little garages you can rent out as well. So, your stuff won't get stolen. Not dark, dark yet, but dark enough to not be sunny anymore. Does that make sense? That chick was totally texting. So yeah, I'm super excited. It's finally getting warmer. Nothing feels better than out on a naked motorcycle in warm weather. Feels great. Awesome feeling. But I just watched a, um, a video by uh, Mr. Sparky Aprilia talking about uh, V-Twins versus inline fours. Um, all I have to say about that is people uh, don't hate on other people just because of the certain bike they ride. I mean, it's all preference. It's all preference. What type of riding you do, whatever. As long as you're out on two wheels and you're happy, that's all that matters. Who cares if it's an inline four, V twin, V four, I three, single cylinder, parallel twin, cross plane four. As long as you're out having fun on two wheels, that's all that matters. That's all I gotta say on that. I mean, I appreciate and I really like all, a lot of the engine types. They're all really cool. They're all okay in my book. I even like scooters, well, for the most part, kinda. I don't know, I've never ridden one, so I <laughs> They seem like they could be fun in the right situations. Man, this is gonna be one of those videos where I'm just rambling, shall I say? Uh, whatever. It's cool though, right? I mean, maybe I can be entertaining. I don't know. I smell baby powder. And, uh, I think my camera battery is dying. Oh well, who cares? I keep forgetting to charge my battery before I got in video. Come on, green light, green light. What are you doing, dude? That's one thing that uh, pisses me off. We're not really, well, yeah, it pisses me off is, you see there's a car waiting to get out on the road, whatever, like from the side and they can see you coming and you know they see you coming because they're looking at you but when you, they get closer or when you get closer to them all of a sudden they start creeping up like further or they just let off the brake for a second and go forward I don't know about you but that scares the crap out of me because it looks like they're about to just run right out in front of you so you t-bone them or whatever it's just it's it's like this guy. Stop. What are you rolling for? Wait until I pass. I don't know. I think it's just me being paranoid, but I don't know. But after uh, Spicy 110 and Chuckles 85 got into those accidents because of cars pulling out in front of, the, front of them or whatever, I'm just really paranoid about cars doing the same thing over here. I mean, you're so vulnerable on a motorcycle. You can't help be paranoid. Or uh, you can't help but be paranoid because... Uh, your life could end in just, you know, a blink of an eye. 